I talked about this in the video I put out this morning about how JD is in England doing a concert set with Jeff Beck. And I really don't see the problem here. He's just having some fun getting the the chaos off of his mind. What's the problem here? <laughs> I just I don't see an issue, but of course, you have AH supporters like Eve Barlow out there making this into a big deal, trying to say, oh, so JD is on tour with Jeff Beck, but he's the, he's the victim. Here's this guy right here saying he's mad. Jeff Beck has always been one of my favorite guitars. He was right up there with Eric Clapton, who's always shown himself to be a real POS as a person. Please don't tell me something bad about Jimmy Page now. Well, at least B.B. King was as gracious in person. Okay. So, A.H. can do no wrong. She, she must be sitting in the hotel room right now in Virginia, patiently waiting for the verdict. That's what's going on, right? Ah, uh, yes. Patiently waiting in the hotel room. Uh, she wouldn't be out doing anything like like Depp. No, she she was she's waiting very close for the verdict. Oh wait, what's this? Exclusive from the mirror. Inside AH's secret one million dollar desert hideaway. After stress of JD case. What, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Eve. Eve uh, posted under the mirror's post for this, uh, redact this story because she doesn't want you to know that A.H. has a desert hideaway where she's at right now. So she can take off and do some stress relief and hang out in her vacation home. But old J.D., he's not allowed to do anything. He's not allowed to do anything. Isn't that right? Isn't that funny, the double standard on this? By the way, $1 million desert hideaway. Couldn't you sell that and pay your pledged your pledged donation? You know where she probably got this? She probably bought this with that money that she was supposed to pledge. Now, I'm not saying that's a fact. I don't know. Uh, but... We do know that that money never went to the charities that she promised the money to. So here it is. This is in some community. Not sure where it is. It's in some California hippie town called Joshua Tree. I have no idea what that is or what it's about. She's there because she loves the art community. So she's hanging out there making art. Oh, God, what would her art look like? Plenty of booze here. I thought she wasn't a drinker. I thought she wasn't a big drinker. I love how they put AH needs some recovery time, and they show a picture of her bar. <laughs> There's a little mini fridge right there where she keeps all that fresh ten thousand uh, dollar, ten thousand dollar a month wine, or was it weekly ten thousand dollars or something, or was it ten thousand dollars a month? We'll have to call the umbrella man for that answer. But this was humorous to me. So she's allowed to go on vacation per her supporters. This is okay. Nothing wrong with this. She's totally allowed to take off to her $1 million mansion vacation home. I don't know why she has so many chairs and tables. She doesn't have any friends that come over. <laughs> the only person that's there probably is her. Her, uh, I don't know what Eve Barlow is to her. Um, live in Gimp, maybe. I'm not sure. But she, she's probably there, and they're just hanging out, drinking $10,000 wine, but JD's not allowed to go and do a rock and roll set with Jeff Beck. That's different. Oh, that that proves he doesn't have any of these problems. Get out of here. She's got a very interesting Twitter timeline. 
He's moving on with his life, and she did too. She can't. She has to wait for a verdict. He's on tour. It wasn't about the verdict for him. It was about the opportunity of a trial to further his abuse. Whatever the verdict, he continues freely. She does not. Yes, she does. That's what she plans to do after this trial. She stated that at the trial. She plans to continue speaking on it. But she's got she's just going on and on about this rock show. He's not on tour, by the way. I'm pretty sure he just did a surprise set with the man. Probably just went out there. He said, Hey, you want to come do this with me? And he flew out there and he's probably flying back. Or maybe he'll do another show. I don't know. A tour would mean he'd have to go do a whole bunch, and I don't think he has the time for that. But it's just mixing up words. Mixing up words. She's been fighting with this woman here, Jordan Pruitt. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee, singer-songwriter. She's been going after her. Uh, she's, like, asked her how she it felt getting kicked out of the courtroom. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. I, why, why is it okay? Here's this picture with her going after uh, a DUI guy, by the way. In a fair trial, these death fans would not be allowed in the courtroom. They're in full review with the jury. And then she's got... Uh, she got this arrow at DUI guy. This is the picture that caused all this law to drama or something. Looked into a little bit. I I don't think he did anything wrong. That comment came after, after like that TMZ guy kind of had a really good rebuttal to Elaine. Because she was like, aren't you here to get your 15 minutes of fame? And he's like, well, I could say the same for you. And it got a reaction from the gallery because, well, it was witty and funny and nobody was expecting it. So people had a lot of reactions. I I don't see the problem there. It was a, a really good snap comeback, snap comeback. And, I mean, I think it got made into a bigger deal than it needed to be. Just because Eve Barlow complains about it doesn't mean anything. Nobody... Nobody really pays attention to Eve Barlow. It's mostly to just point out, like, she's 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 Herd's number one PR supporter. Like, she does this all for free. That's why the speculation is that they're girlfriends because of the way that she's, like, out there defending her no matter what. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.